phone in the room. I'm about to get my I'm about to get my uh podcast started too, so I won't forget. Go ahead and set that up before I start talking because I know how I, I get to run in my mouth. Jesus. Sorry, I get to run in my mouth. And uh I forget to start the podcast and put that charge over there. But how y'all doing? Come on up in the room. Come on in the room. My microphone check. One, two, one, two. Okay. Come on in the room. Y'all ready to learn about these edges? Let's talk about these edges. Okay. So y'all ready? Oh, podcast, podcast. You know what, Sophia? Shouts out to you because the other day, I don't know what topic I was talking on, but I it was a good topic and I forgot the podcast. And I said, you know what? I need to make sure I keep this. Um, I need to make sure I keep it up. I need to make sure I keep it up. And Acacia, remind me when I'm at Remind me when I'm at about, about 28 minutes. Because I'll I'll be over here running my mouth. You hear me? Now, why did thing look like that? Okay. So, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready to say them edges? <laughs> y'all ready to say them edges? Let's go. Tracy Ann was first in the vestibule. Which she said, grab your snacks on the way in. It looked like we got juicy juice tonight. We got popcorn and we got some cheese. So y'all, y'all grab your popcorn and cheese. The debt demolisher is in here getting her snack in and she, she grabbing her seat. So tonight is going to be, we ain't having church tonight. We having a, we having a, um, a seminar tonight. That's what we having tonight. And then we have Queen Heart is in the building tonight. Thank you for joining. So everybody got their snacks. So y'all ready? It's going to be a good one. Y'all ready to learn? Y'all ready to learn? Y'all ready to learn? So I'm going to give y'all five tips. And I hope y'all taking notes. I'm going to give y'all five tips for thin and compromised edges, Okay. I was motivated to talk about this because, you know, y'all know me. I be fussing at my clients, and I be trying to tell them, if you want edges, you need to listen. You need to listen to your hairstylist. Listen to your hairstylist if you want your edges. Edges are important. And see, I care about your edges. I care about your edges. Now, other people, other hairstylists might not care about your edges, but I care about your edges. So sometimes some of my clients be wanting stuff and I'd be like, sis, the way how them edges set up, I don't think it's going to be a good idea. Story time before we get into the tips. I want to give a few more people to get in the room to have a chance to win. Oops. Running my mouth. I want a couple of people to, to, to come in the room. Story time. I had this client one time, long time ago. God bless her. She ever watched this. She don't even come to me no more. And it's because of this reason. She, her edges was compromised. And I was starting to notice. I said, hey, uh, I don't think this going to be a good idea. Because she had been getting crochets before. And so I was, I was noticing that they was thinning. So the last couple of times I was like, hey, we need to start you know, doing some treatments in between you doing these crochet styles because you there wasn't there was there was a little compromise, but they were starting to go there. So I was like, let's start doing treatments in between, you know what I'm saying, before we put them in and you need to not wear your crochets as long, take them out, let your hair breathe before we go put it right back in. Y'all know I got a video to talk about protective styles. So she came back and when she came back the next time her edges was like really, really thin. And I think she had agreed to do it. We did treatment that day, whatever. So when she came back, it was like they were worse. No, no. I told her, I said, after this, now you're going to have to take a break. 
She went on my website, booked the same thing again. And I told her, I said, hey, I told her last time that she don't need to do no crochet. So I emailed her and I said, hey, I just seen you booked an appointment. I ain't know if it was a mistake. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she got happy and just booked it too quick. I said, hey, I just saw you booked an appointment. I just want to, I just want to uh, confirm what you're getting. And she said, oh, I want to get them crochets again. And I said, sis. I will highly not recommend you getting them because I told you we need to put you on this plan. You need to wait. Your edges are already compromised. We are already pushing it, okay? We was pushing it last time. But this time, we really been pushing it, pushing it. She was so stuck on, no, you can't tell me what to do with my hair. Um, um, I don't want to get a treatment. I just want to get the crochets. Da, 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 da. Fine. It's your head. I ain't got to tell you what to do with your head. You can do what you want to do with your head, okay? I ain't, don't listen to me because I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about even though I have edges, okay? So I'm not the hairstylist telling you not to do. I have edges, okay? I have edges. So she won't listen. She was just like, I just feel like it's unfair that you don't want to do my hair because I have to do, because at that point I was just like, in order for me to continue to do your hair, like, this is how it's going to work. Because you're not about to be putting my name out there. And then when you lose all your edges, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, Lisa. Sh mm -mm, mm -mm. So, that's, if you want me, if we want to continue this relationship, this is how it's got to go. Okay? This is how I got to go with them, with this treatment plan. So, she wasn't agreeing with it. So, we agreed, we agreed to disagree. I refund that deposit. And she went on by her way, but she was not happy with that. She wanted me to still do this style, even though I told her that this is not going to work. Now, most hairstylists, they're going to get that your money. You hear me? They're going to get that money. They ain't going to worry about that. They're going to be like, look, I done told her, whatever. Let me just do it. Let me just do it because she ain't going to hush. No, all money ain't good money. So I let her go on by her business. Go on about her, let her edges go on about their business. And I kept them edges lifted in prayer. And it's funny because after that, we, when I was on Instagram, this was like a couple years ago, I had seen she got her hair done by somebody else. Somebody else slapped them in. And that goes to tell me every stylist don't care about your edges. So if you have somebody and they care about your edges and they say, don't do this, they really care. I'm not, yes, I'm in the business to make money, but also at the same time, not to that account. Because then, now my name is on the line. And you know how many people I got came to me talking about, oh, yeah, I want this style, and I feel like she messed up my hair, da, 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 da. You know, all this stuff. And then they come to me, and then I had, I'm the clean up woman. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I had to be the clean up woman. But I don't mind because I, I actually enjoy transforming unhealthy hair to healthy hair. So I enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? I just I have to, you know what I'm saying? I had to talk to them. They're like, oh yeah, and then my last hairstylist, she did this. Y'all know how y'all be. You know how just we be. Because, oh yeah, my last relationship, they did this. I'd be like, well, baby girl, you ain't got to worry about that here, okay? You ain't got to worry about that here. I understand you hurt, but let's move on. Let's move on. We keeping that hairstyle lifted in prayer, but we're going to move on to a new treatment plan. So I want to give y'all that story about edges okay and how everybody don't care about your edges everybody don't care about the health of your hair and if y'all notice on my channel i promote healthy hair over everything health over length okay at the end of the day i just want you to have healthy hair because that's what i'm passionate what i care about because if you got healthy hair any style i put in it's gonna look good any style i put in it's gonna look good your two strand twist your wash and go your blow out Whatever you want, it's going to look good. You want to know why? Because your hair is healthy. Okay? So, y'all got your notebooks. I had to throw that story in there. Y'all got your notebooks. Y'all ready for this? Uh, these five tips? If y'all ready for the first tip, go ahead and put a number one in the chat. And really, I, I should have named this. These are five things that you should not do if you have compromised edges. That's why I should have put in the title. But I'll update it when I get done. Y'all going off in the chat. Let me get through some of the chat a little bit because y'all going off. 
Um, the prize is a, is knowledge in itself. You white cream hard. That's that's the real prize. That you can walk away by the end of this year with full edges. Come on, somebody. That, that's really the ultimate prize. That your edges can be set free. Come on now. <laughs> I keep the tambourine in here. I went to church on Sunday, y'all. And this was my first sidebar. I went to church, church on Sunday. It was my first Sunday with this tambourine. Boy, I was wearing this tambourine out. I was surprised they ain't broke. They, people started breaking out, shouting. I was wearing it out. My hand was hurting after I got done at church on Sunday. I was wearing it out. People, the my uh, church member was looking at me like, oh, she got hugs. Oh, yeah, I'm about to be wearing it out. You hear me? Okay, Queen Heart said, oh, I need this. Come on and get this uh, knowledge tonight. Edges are important to that demolisher says. Ladies, protect your edges. Yes. Fair warning. Hey, Acacia. I go, Acacia. Hey, Acacia. Y'all show my moderator some love tonight over here doing the Lord's work. Okay. Divinity said, thanks for the snacks. Um, Queen Heart. Oh, wow. I be praying for stylists to give their honest expert opinion. And you know, Queen Heart. Some people, they they be want they be like Lisa, just be honest. What you think? And then when I be honest, sometimes they don't want to hear it. They be like, oh I man, I can't. No, you can't get that today. No, no, we're not doing that today. No, absolutely not. And I be trying to prep them, especially if I know you have it, cause I get it. Like if you got a big event coming up, you want your hair a certain way. But I try to prep them beforehand and let them know, like, no. We're not doing that today. Uh-uh. Okay? She needs to listen because my edges... Come. Now, y'all heard it from Acacia. Acacia said she needs to listen because my edges are growing. Come on, Acacia. I need to hear this one. You in the right place, Divinity. So, y'all... Okay, I think y'all ready. Queen Heart said, exactly. They probably won't say anything. Just do it with the little fangling <laughs> around it. Hairstylists out here be... Money over edges, M O M O E. I ain't never heard that before, but this we're gonna put that right there, Tracy, in because that sounds real good. Okay, show we're already over here working hard. Are you looking for an incredible natural hairstyle to schedule a consultation with integrity? Lisa has openness. Acacia, now you're doing the Lord's work. We praise God for you, amen. Acacia, I said the same thing in the front row, taking those. Okay, so y'all, okay, so y'all don't put a number one. I think I'm caught up. Get that tambourine. Okay. So, number one, this is the first thing that you don't want to do if you have compromised edges. And that is wearing wigs all the time. Wearing wigs all the time. Now, now I know some of y'all ain't want to hear that. Some of y'all don't want to hear that. And the reason why I say this is because you have to be careful wearing these wigs all the time. Mainly because sometimes if, if your edges are already thin and you wearing wigs all the time and you don't give yourself time, no break. You don't take it off at night. You know what I'm saying? You you just you just wearing it all the time. Sometimes they have these little cones and stuff right there. And and most of the time the cones be right here. And and right here at the temples is sometimes where I see the hair be the thinnest, right here on the temples. So those cones, you be putting it right there on your edges. And if you're already not moisturizing your edges and it's dry, you slapping that comb up in there, it's just making, it's drying it out. And then you got your wig cap on if you're wearing the, if you're slapping the wig cap on, you know. Sorry, I got my laundry right here. You know what I'm saying? You slapping that on, and then that's, that's dry, and then you slap this on. Now I'm telling my business, because I got clothes sitting right here folded up, I ain't put up. You see what I'm saying? So you got that slapped on, dry and dry. And then you got the wig comb. So let's keep our edges moisturized and let's give these wigs some break, a break. Let's, let's break, take a break from these wigs. And another thing I want to say is since we're on the thing with wigs, nah, well, I guess that kind of, this, this can be number two. This will kind of be number two. This is kind of like, well, make this 1A, because this is going to be a subsection of number one. This is a subsection. 
Also with wigs too, let's talk about these front laces. We getting out of pocket. We getting out of the pocket with these front laces. And the reason why I say that is because the glue. The glue. I, I know y'all want to go swimming. Y'all want to go deep sea diving with the lace fronts and the glue. But but the glue is wearing your hairline at. Okay? Y'all going to be in the barbershop like the men be getting the spray paint on. I'm, I'm just keeping it real. Because this glue is, is, I mean, they got got to be, they got gorilla. It's just too much. It's just too, it's just absolutely too much. It's absolutely too much. So that glue will take your edges out. You hear me? And then also, if you're going to do the glue, please get the right kind of glue removal stuff you need to take it off. Don't be trying to just pull it off. Get the right removal if you're going to use it. Get the right removal. And just know, just give your, just give your scalp a break, okay? Just, just, give your, just give your scalp a break. That's all I want y'all to do. Give it a break. Take it off at night. Moisturize your edges, okay? So that was the 1A. So I hope y'all got that. I hope y'all taking notes, okay? So if y'all ready for number two, of oh, uh, the second thing, the second tip I have for thin and compromised edges put in the chat. And as I wait on that, I'll get through some of the comments, what y'all talking about. Oh, Acacia just said, consider purchase the rosemary line for thin and weak edges. Come on, Acacia. It definitely is a game changer. Dr. Roy Anissa, thank you for um joining. Thank you. I thank God for you. God must have told you I was concerned about my edges. I was truly about to ask you. How to protect my edges. Now, look at the Lord moving. Come on, Dr. Roy Anista. I'm here to save your edges. Q Scott is in the building. Got dinner in the oven here for the word and the giggles. Come on in here and kiki. Come on in here and kiki. All right. Divinity said, I give my hair breaks. I don't like to sleep in it. Nor Come on, Divinity. Come on now. Now, if you can wear them, do it right. Divinity got the soft sidebar. Divinity said she be over there ballroom dancing with her heels on, honey. With her tall glass of water. <laughs> Divinity got the sauce. All right, so I am crying laughing the glue. Oh, yeah, not the Gorilla Glue. Not the Gorilla Glue. All right, I wear wigs like a fitted cap once. In the blue moon, whenever my hair isn't done, can't do it every day. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with that, Queen Heart. I wear my own hair in two strand twists right now. It's cute and easy to get up and go. It sure is, Acacia. And that's the perfect style if you got compromised edges, but we can get to that. Okay, so y'all ready for number two? Do we? I don't see a number two in the chat. I hope y'all taking notes. Y'all ready for number two? The second tip? Okay, so the second tip. The second tip is the other thing you shouldn't do is wearing edge control all the time. Now, some of y'all ain't want to hear that. Y'all ain't want to hear that. Y'all want to keep slapping that edge control on. Just slapping it on, slapping it on, slapping it on. Edge controls. Some of these edge controls are taking your edges out. And the reason why I say that is because I seen the clip. I had I seen the video clip a, a while back. They probably still got it. They probably still got it. It's a it's an edge control where they say it keep your edges for 24 hours. You run your finger through it and your edges don't move. That ain't normal. That ain't normal. Them edges need to move. I'm sorry. They need to move. They need to move. Okay? Now let, let's just talk about edge control. That edge control like that, they got something in it that's not healthy. And wearing that continually will take your edges out of here. Them edges going to be met the Lord. Them edges going to meet the Lord. You hear me? You want your edges to meet the Lord? Keep on slapping on that, all that harsh edge control. Another thing, another thing is too, if you, I wear edge control, you know, every once in a while. As y'all can see, I ain't got no my, nothing on my edges tonight. Because I want y'all to see I got edges. That I ain't up here just talking. Huh, you gonna talk about it, be about it. Huh, I got edges, okay? So listen to somebody who got edges. 
I ain't pulling the edge controls now. I ain't I ain't feel like it. But another thing is, if you can wear the edge control and your edge is already thin to compromise, wipe it off at night. And I gave this trip before get you a warm, wet cloth and wipe it, wipe that edge control off and moisturize them edges. And then also that helps with buildup. Because some of y'all be using edge control and like, oh, it's uh, this is a white buildup. What kind of edge control should I use? But the reason is sometimes you keep piling product on top of product. So you kind of want to wash the edges off at night. But look, I tell y'all, we ain't got to wear edge control every day. I ain't got to wear edge control every day. You can like me with or without edge control, period. Okay? Period. Okay? It's a time and place for everything. But don't feel inclined to have edge control on it all the time. And leave people alone if they don't want to wear edge control. If, if they got a bush right there, that mean they got edges, and you should be taking notes. Okay, you should be taking notes. Okay, so y'all said too. All right, that ain't normal. <laughs> I am crying, Queen Heart. Is hair gel better than edge control? Yeah. Now, it um hair gel to me tends to be a little bit more. Um, it won't be as dry drying as the actual edge control. Because the hair, now the hair gel, sometimes I will use Eco Styler to slick mine back. But sometimes with those styling gels, it's more water-based, so it's not as harsh on your hair as the edge control. Sometimes the edge controls have more alcohols and stuff in it, which is can be more drying to the hair. But like I say, it's a time and place for everything. Like if you're going to a nice event, a gala, or you got a big date coming up, or you know, you got a presentation. Oh, okay, you slap on some edge control. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But hair gel, gel, yes, Queen Heart, that was a good question. Sometimes that can be not as intense as the actual edge control. So thank you for that. Lisa, I see them edges. Come on now. So y'all ready for number three? Put number three in the chat. Number three, replace your edge control with the growth. Acacia, come on now. Replace that, the, 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 uh, Acacia, you read my mind because I ain't even got there yet. I Y'all ain't even got there yet. Okay, so y'all ready? I put number three. And you should be taking notes. <laughs> y'all is over here kicking. Y'all over here kicking. We just telling the truth. Lord, I've been talking and still didn't start the podcast. I just said, okay. All right. Y'all, next time I'm on live, please remember to start it. Because it's we 22 minutes in. Okay, so I see a number three. Okay, so number three, the other thing that you shouldn't do, if you got thin and compromised edges, is wearing tight styles. This should be a no-brainer. This should be a no-brainer. But sometimes you got to make things plain and clear. You got to make things plain and clear. Wearing the tight hair styles. Wearing the tight hairstyles, sometimes cornrows, the cornrows with the weave, y'all want to do the crochets, um, the updos, all, some of y'all still going to the Africans and putting your hope and trust that they care about your edges. They don't care. They don't care. Some of them do. I ain't going to say all of them, but... When where I was brought up from, when you went to the edges, you knew your edges was gonna be compromised, but you ain't care. You ain't care. You you went and got done micro braids, okay? Y'all know micro braids. I ain't care. And it's nothing about the grace of God that I still have edges, okay? It's nothing about the grace of God, and maybe because I've always been into hair, but people ain't gonna care. So these, yeah, you right. If you come out and you got an eyebrow arch. Uh-uh. Just go pay for an eyebrow arch. You know, I know here you can get eyebrow threaded as low as $8. You can get a eyebrow wax as low as $12. The place I go to in Raleigh, if you're here in Raleigh, is I think it's called Shabam Threading. Send me a check. Send me a check, young lady. Send me a check. She's the only one in there, but I need my eyebrows done now, so don't y'all look. But she does an amazing job on my eyebrows. Eight dollars. I go ahead and slide her, you know, her money. You know what I'm saying? Eight dollars. Just go pay to get your eyebrows done. You don't have to 
have the hairstyle so tight. Okay? You have to have it so tight. If you want a facelift, just go pay for one. Go pay for one. Not through your hair. That's not healthy. Okay? So stay away from the tight hairstyles. Stay away from them. If they are too tight, let your stylist know. Speak up. Speak up. So I'm, I'm not heavy-handed, but sometimes, like, I'll just be shampooing my client's hair, and I'll just be going in, because to me, I love a very intense shampoo. Like, if you're going to shampoo my hair, don't be over there. Don't be back there kicking and playing. Shampoo my hair, sis. Shampoo my hair. So when I shampoo hair, I go in, because I want it to be clean. So... I seen my client one day with her nose turned up. I said, does it hurt? She was like, yeah, just a little bit. I said, why didn't you speak up and say something? Why didn't you speak up and say something? She said, oh, it felt good, but it hurt, but it felt good. I'm like, girl, you better let me know because I'm going to go in at the shampoo bowl. That hair going to be clean. You hear me? If I don't do nothing else right, I'm going to shampoo your hair right. You hear me? Cleanliness is next to God. And you, your hair going to be clean. I don't play about that. I'm going to go in at that shampoo bowl. And sidebar, while we're talking about shampoo bowl, y'all stop looking at me when I shampoo your hair. Close your eyes. I don't know how many times I got to say this. I be shampooing y'all like this with your eyes open looking right up at me. Close your eyes. What you looking at? Praise God for math. Because I used to say, do I got a book on my nose? Like, what's going on? Close your eyes during the, the, during the shampoo. Now, I know this is a rant. This is a sidebar. But I'm about sick of it. I, I be trying to tell y'all, close your eyes on the shampoo. You looking at, you looking into my eyes. That's awkward. That's very awkward. Close your eyes, sis. Don't be looking up at me. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And then some of y'all, I don't, I don't kind of got over it. And some of y'all have the nerve to be moaning during the shampoo. You looking up at me like, oh, Lisa, that feels so good. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We're not going to do that. I'm going to start throwing a towel on y'all face and rebuking y'all in that shampoo bowl. For real. Y'all just doing too much for me. Take care of yourself before you come to get your hair done. Okay? Because that, okay, I, I know I went off, but let's get back on task. Tight styles. Let's stop wearing tight styles. Speak up if the style is too tight. Make sure you let your professional know. And everything, your style can look still look good without it being extremely tight. Some people be like, the tighter the better. No. The tighter the no edges. How about that? You want it to look good, but you ain't going to have no edges after that style. So no, the tighter is not the better. It needs to be at a manageable tension. Manageable, Okay. So let's get that in our spirit. Y'all ready for number four? Put number four in the uh in the chat. We, we about done. We got five. All right. Let me get through some of the comments. Um, I just scream because sometimes I have a bush on the side. I guess that means I have edges. You sure do, Tracy Ann. You got edges, sis. Thank you, Scott. Say I can't with Lisa. I don't even remember what I said now. Your Acacia said your products are working for me. Thank you for that testimonial. Thank you for that testimonial. I just bought the growth cream. Can't wait for it to come. Yes, Tracy Ann. You about to have you an extra bush. Just I mean start it and do a quick recap. Okay. Oh, I thought you were recording. Oh, you said start and do a quick recap. Now I'll do it another time. I'm laughing so hard. Y'all are really laughing. Them girls can grip your eyebrows. Yep. Okay, so I think I've seen some fours. Okay, so number four is the uh, the fifth thing you don't want to do if you got thin and copperized edges is manipulate your edges too much. Meaning you always got your hands in your head. You're always messing with them. If you're going to have your hands in your head around your edges, you need to be doing you a, a scalp massage. You need to be for a purpose. Don't just be up there mindlessly just keep messing with it. Keep You keep messing with your hair. Keep your hands out your head. Keep your hands out your head. Stop manipulating it too much. Be mindful even with the styles you're wearing. Like I said, we just talked about tight styles, but be careful with manipulating, manipulating the hair, the edges too much. Okay? 
So let's keep our hands out of our head. So that was number four. Okay. Queen Heart said, dang, seems like fro is the only way to go. No, the fro is not the only way to go if you got thin edges now. You got some options, and we're going to talk about them. We got You got some options, but that's a good option, Queen Heart. I can't. Lisa's on the road tonight. Y'all silly. Divinity, you know it. Client was scared to speak up. She sure was. And she actually had her eyes closed. I said, well, thank God she had her eyes closed. I'm guilty of tightness at times. Wear my hair up in a ponytail Pin into a bun. I be trying to be conscious of doing it. Of what you mean, not doing it too tight. After I get my trim on Friday, I might start getting twists. Yes, don't be, don't be. But see, Tracy, I ain't really concerned about you pulling it too tight. Cause see, you like to pull out the oil on your head. So even if you do pull it tight, with the amount of oil you put in your head, that thing probably gonna be done loosen up. But they don't mean no. That they don't mean pulling ponytails tight. It's so, like, yeah, maybe get the twist and alternate your hairstyles. Don't wear the tight bun all the time. Maybe go between the blowout, twist, flat twist. Kind of like give it some variation. So, but I, I know Tracy Ann now. She's going to order the hair. She, I don't care what I say. Tracy Ann said, I'm putting on some oil, Lisa. You hear me? And I ain't mad at you. Go ahead, Tracy Ann. But see, Tracy Ann, I think she shampooed her hair too. Lisa had that grip and grab on that scalp I showed did. And I got this little shampoo brush. I was over there going. And I was going to work on that head. You hear me? Okay. Y'all ready for the fifth uh thing that you shouldn't do? The fifth thing you shouldn't do if you got thin compromised edges. Oh my God, that's so awkward. It is Queen Heart. It's very awkward. Very. Very. Sometimes little kids do it to me, but when little kids do it to me, I don't really mind because they don't really understand. But I say, hey, baby, why don't you close your eyes? I said, Miss Lisa's going to give you a spa treatment. So for, with kids, you know, they don't realize it. But I've been trying to train these kids up in the way they should go. So when these kids get about 13, 14, they know to come in and close their eyes. But some adults, y'all just don't be listening. Okay, number five. The fifth thing that you should do if you have thin and compromised that you should not do is wearing tight scarves and bonnets and i know this should be a no-brainer but I, it has to be said it has to be said and bonnets will take your hair out as well and i'm going to explain why i'm going to explain why so there are two types of bonnets now if you purchase one of my lovely bonnets it's not going to take your edges out because as you can see my bonnet has the real thick band around it new bonnets coming soon yeah i know i know they're coming soon just be on the lookout and scarves. We 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 look uh sidebar. Sophia on the research with me live. I was able to get some stuff done. So that's in the works. So my bonnets have the the nice wide band, and they don't have the elastic thing in it. So it's not gonna wear your edges out. Some of these other bonnets that have like the white elastic in it, when that lining from the bonnet kind of like wear out from you washing it a lot, then the elastic part is exposed. So when when it's wearing out and you have it on, it's rubbing against your edges and that elastic is going to thin your edges out even more. So that's why I said some bonnets. You got to get the right kind of bonnets. Also the scarves. Some of the time I had scarves entirely too tight. That goes back to when I told y'all don't have a tight style. Do not tie the scarves too tight. So that was the fifth thing was the tight scarves and bonnets. Okay. Tracy Ann said she don't want to look up in, into nobody's nose. <laughs> looking like a dead fish looking up at you. That's what they be looking like. <laughs> Edges snatch, loosen up a, a tad bit. Right. Lisa, you need to find an open mic comedy. <laughs> I don't know if I would do good with an open mic comedy showcase. I, I don't know. I just... I don't know, it's easy. I don't be realizing it, but I guess I just, I guess I have to see it like I'm just talking to my clients. Because all my clients, they be in there just to kick in. I'm like, girl, and some of y'all, y'all be laughing, get your hair done. I be twitching. She be like, ah! Girl, you realize I'm doing your hair. They just be just falling out in the chair, just moving. I'm like, I got to stop making this lady laugh. Because I got one lady in particular. She did. 
when she get the kick in, she be all over the place. But I said, well, that's good. That means my clients, they feel good. That the monster said, I sprayed my scalp with the rope with the scalp stimulating spray early this morning, 6 a.m. to be exact, and massage it in my head, and my scalp is still cooling. I love the stimulating spray. Yes, that thing will stimulate you. And if you haven't purchased a uh, rosemary stimulating spray, make sure don't spray it at night because it's gonna have you up all night. I had to tell one of my other clients that I said, Look, you, you spray it at the wrong time. In the morning or during the day, but at night it, it, it alerts me too much. I know some people can do it at night, but at night I can't do it. Okay, Queen Heart, she could do a whole set just talking about it. <laughs> hey, that might be another source of income. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to really consider that. I would, I keep my ends well old. I know you do, Tracy Ann. I know you do. Come on, Acacia said, purchase a wide band bonnet using the link. Come on, Acacia, for doing the Lord's work tonight. Thank you. All right. Let's go. Tracy, and your bonnet is designed well, wide rim and not tight at all. A tight bonnet will rub them edges off. It sure will. Queen Heart says, Lisa, you are a godsend. Be feeling like these so called silk and satin scars don't be that. The material. The material is off. Yep, you're right. What? You killed the set. You're naturally just expressing yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Queen Heart. I'm going to get one of that. Okay, Acacia is trying to get them pre-orders on the box. That's a good idea. <laughs> the pre-orders? I like that. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to give y'all okay. We we about to end. We about to end up. So y'all y'all keep listening to win a prize. Okay. So I'm going to tell you some things that you can do to help if you have thin compromised edges. Number one is keep them edges moisturized, baby. You hear me? You better slap that moisturizer on it. And you might ask Lisa, what type of product would you recommend to keep my edges moisturized? Well, I'm glad you asked, even though you really didn't. But the growth cream, just like Acacia said, the growth cream is a nice moisturizer if you have thin or slow growing edges. Okay, now disclaimer, am I saying if you buy this one product, your hair is going to take off? It could and it couldn't, but you got to put in the work and not do the other things. Okay, it all works together. You got to be drinking your water. And another tip, when you apply the growth cream, I want you to give yourself a massage. Give yourself a temple massage. If you have kids, let them massage it. Now, let me tell you something. My niece, Kylie, and she know how to get a foot massage. You hear me? Baby girl, eight years old, she know how to get a foot massage. She, she know how to get a foot massage. My sister's like, yeah, let Kylie give you a massage. So, mother niece, Kaylee, y'all know I got twin nieces and nephews, Kaylee and Kylie. So, I told her, I, you know, I, I pay her for giving me a, a five, I said, five dollars for a five minute foot massage, a dollar for a minute. And she said, Auntie, can I do 10 minutes? <laughs> sure. So, uh, Kaylee, I was getting, Kaylee seen, Kylie was over there hustling, getting some money, making some money. She was like, oh, auntie, I want to um make some money too. Kaylee got over there gave me an old trash foot massage. But I still paid the baby girl. I said, oh, yeah, you over here playing. She be stopping talking to other people. I said, you ain't even working on the job. Kylie came over here and went to work. So you know what I'm saying, them kids, them hands be young, okay? And they be having the energy. And them kids be having that grip game. So get some of y'all kids, your nieces, your nephews, massage your scalp. Put, put the growth cream on there and massage your scalp, okay? That's going to be the first tip with slow and thin edges. And the reason why you want to give yourself a massage is because you want that blood flow to go, okay? And so when that blood is flowing, it's going to help those hair follicles wake up and promote hair growth. Okay, we got a question. I love how y'all put hashtag Q. Should we seal the moisturizer with oil to for optimized results or just moisturizing is enough? 
Now, yeah, you can seal it with oil. I, I be scared to say oil. I be scared to say it. I be scared to say it. Yeah, you can seal it with oil. But then if you if you really want some good results, I say spray it with the rosemary spray first. Put the growth cream on top because the growth cream got oils in it already. The growth cream already got oils in it. But if you want to use a little bit of oil on top, then you lose a little oil. You use a little oil. oil. Tracy Ann, cover your ears. Tra cover your ears, Tracy Ann. She love to hear something about some oil. Now, Tracy Ann, Tracy Ann, they be high in your comments. I had to just click a uh, show. When you put up the little oil thing, every time you be putting your little emojis in here, Tracy Ann, I don't know why, but they be high in your comments. So I have to put show. Because last time, Tracy Ann, we were talking about something. She had a whole eggplant in there, and they blocked it. So, I just want to keep that, in, keep that in mind, Tracy Ann. Just keep that in mind. But I, I showed it because it's nothing but oil. It's nothing but oil. So, yeah. Thank you for that question, Queen Heart. That was a really good question. Kylie is a next millionaire. She is trying to make that money. You hear me? <laughs> Kylie about that paper. And shout out to my other, my other nephew. Uh, he, my other nephew, he is in middle school and he taking him, he in the entrepreneurship club. He, he be coming home from school giving my sister tips. Y'all know my sister, she a makeup artist, full-time makeup artist. I say, sign that boy up for a bank account. Okay. He, he giving tips. Okay. So we raising millionaires. You heard me. We raising millionaires over here. That was another sidebar. But they're my babies, though. They're my babies. I love my babies. I miss them. But, okay. So, number two. Number two. What else I put? Okay. Number two is wear styles that has less tension on your hair. Wear styles that has less tension on your, really, on your edges. So, you might ask, oh. What kind of style should I wear? Now, I know y'all ain't asked that, but I'm, I'm, I'm using it as my set. I'm practicing for my comedy show. Y'all didn't really ask that, but I'm going to ask her for it, okay? You can wear styles like Acacia just said, two-strand twist. Two-strand twist has no tension on your edges, okay? That's the style. And then with two-strand twist, you can wear them down. You can pull them up, you know, but if you pull them up, don't be all rough, okay? You can wear two-strand twist. There's less tension on your hair. You can rock your afro. It's nothing wrong with a good old afro. Okay, afro be bomb. Flat twist. Flat twist is another great style. So you can wear your flat twist for two weeks or a week and you can take it out and have a twist out. Twist outs would be good to wear if you have thin edges. Uh, braid outs, wash and goes, blowouts. Those styles don't have a lot of tension on your edges. You want to stay away from like a lot of the crochets and the and the styles with a lot of hair added too. So stay away from that. So that's number two. And uh, what did I say? I think I said keep a moisturized. I said the low tension hairstyles and the massages. That's what I said. Yeah, I think that's what I said. Ain't that what I said? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. All right, I spray an oil every night. I Tracy Ann, good job, good job, Tracy Ann. Now Tracy Ann, I know you're getting a blowout on Friday. Then just remember, you can't be spraying that rosemary spray while right? you got your blowout because it's gonna make your curls revert back. So just a sidebar. But I think you also bought the rosemary stimulating grease, so you can use that in case you need to. Okay. I know that's right, nephew. Uh, yep. Come on, nephew. Yeah, nephew got the juice. Too cute. Okay, Dr. Roy Nisa said, hashtag Q, may I suggest that you make a video on how, on the how-to scars when they come in? Yes. We definitely, I can show you different ways you can tie your scarves, how you can wear them. So that, that would be a great video. Thank you for that. Let me, let me write that down. How to scarf video okay so are y'all ready for oh i didn't say massage yet i thought i did when i said keep it moisturized okay so the other thing would be scalp 
scalp massages. That would be that would be the third thing. So the first thing was moisturize your edges. The second thing was wearing low maintenance uh, styles, like having good type of styles you can wear. There's not a lot of tension on your hair. And the third thing was the scalp massages. Okay. All right, so y'all ready for the giveaway? Y'all say giveaway time. Let me see a little drum roll. Well, no, not drum roll. Well, let me see giveaway. So the first product that I'm going to be giving away is dun, 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 the growth cream, which is um, great if you have thin edges. I'm going to be giving away the growth cream. So hold on, y'all. I'm trying to pull up some. I need to get it where I can share my screen. That would be nice. Yeah, I need to get it where I can do that. So, because I don't have no growth cream here, I wanted to show y'all what it looked like. But, but if you go on my website, you'll see it. All right. So if y'all want a chance to win a growth cream, let me know. Y'all know the growth cream, like I said, it's a good moisturizer if you have thin edges. So if y'all are ready for the giveaway, put giveaway. The growth cream is valued on my website for $17.95. And you about to get this for the free. Okay, so y'all ready? So the first question is, whoever is the first person to put this in the chat, will win a free bottle of the growth cream which is valued at $17.95. So what was the third thing I said that you should not do if you have thin and compromised edges? What was the third thing I said? Go ahead and put it in the chat. Let's see who will be the first one in the chat. Drum roll. <laughs> Who is the first one? What was the third thing I said? Who's the winner? Queen Heart! You go, girl. You go, girl. Queen Heart was the first one in the chat. And she said, wearing right, uh, or you said wearing right hairstyles or wearing, or did you hold on, or tight hairstyles? Oh, okay. Too tight. Okay, I had to make sure. I had to make sure. But Queen Heart, Queen Heart, you won, you won the uh go butter. You have your nice little package, Queen Heart. So let me write that down. Queen Heart gets the growth cream. Yes, Queen Heart. Growth cream. All right, Queen Heart is the winner. Of the growth cream, she said number three was wearing the tight hair style. Okay, Queen Heart said, Queen Heart, did you have some coffee tonight? Queen Heart said, My edge is gonna be set free. You hear me? Queen Heart said, My edge is gonna be flourishing. Okay, period. And even if you don't have thin edges, if you just have thin hair in general, the growth cream is just good as a moisturizer. Just go ahead and put that out there. All right, so everybody show Queen Heart some love. This is a beautiful queen. Spell check tried to block my blessing. Come on now, but when the God is in it, when God has something for you, when God has something for you, it is for you. Come on now, what God has for you, it is for you. Come on now, can't block your blessing. Shoot. Y'all know I got to keep that tambourine handy. You don't know when the spirit going to hit. You hear me? You don't know when the spirit going to hit, okay? So, who is ready to win in the second giveaway? The second giveaway is going to be uh, the originator. The hair grower. The, the best selling on my website is that Rosemary Stimulating Spray. The Rosemary Stimulating Spray is valued at $19.99 on the website. And you about to get it for free if you can answer this next one correct. So, if y'all ready for the second giveaway, put a giveaway, say giveaway in the chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Good job, Queen Heart. All right. 
Mariah, y'all show Queen Heart some love. Don't y'all be no no sore uh, loser now. <laughs> okay, so for the second giveaway for the Rosemary, what is, what are, in order, three things you can do to help your edges. The first one, put in the chat, getting that rosemary spray. First one, put it in the chat, get that rosemary spray. I can't roll my tongue, so I'll do that. Who can put it in the chat? Who can put it in the chat? Who about that life? Who about that life? Tracy Ann was typing fast. You hear me? Tracy Ann said, keep edges moisturized, wear less tension, and scalp massages. You got it, Tracy Ann. You got it, Tracy Ann. Go, Tracy. Now, Tracy Ann probably had some oil on her hands. That's probably why she uh, messed up that, that uh, the spelling. But it's okay, Tracy Ann. I'm going to give it to you. Tracy Ann. She got the rosemary. Stimulating spray. Hey. Hey. Come on. Come on, Tracy Ann. You got the rosemary stimulating spray. I don't mind the oh, don't mind the type balls. So I, I get it. Go, Tracy Ann. So y'all give Tracy Ann some love. Y'all give Tracy Ann some love. Okay. Now, bonus. God ain't forgot about you. Okay. You watching everybody else win. Come on, let's go ahead and give a word. Let's go ahead and give a word. You don't sit here and watch everybody else win. You're like, Lord, when my blessing going to come? It's coming with the bonus. It's, com it's coming with the overflow. Come on now. Come on. Who wants the overflow, Benson? Who wants the overflow? Who wants the overflow? Okay. Who want the overflow blessing? Put it in the chat. Say, I want the overflow blessing. Y'all know I'm going to tie the word in. I'm going to tie the word in. Who want the overflow blessing? Who want the overflow? Put it in the chat. Say, at least I want the overflow blessing. This going to be a bonus. This going to be a bonus. I was speed typing. I use that spray daily. I need my supply. Yeah, you need that supply. You need that supply. So go ahead and store up, Tracy Ann. Store up. Yes. Lisa is cutting up. The spirit is loose. You hear me? All right. All right. I don't see nobody say they want the overflow blessing. Nobody don't want the overflow blessing. I don't see it in the chat. I'm going to take my blessing somewhere else. Okay, Divinity said bring the overflow blessing. Bring the overflow. So this next one is going to be a chance to win the Eucalyptus Spearmint Glow Butter. The Eucalyptus Spearmint Glow Butter. So, the first person who can put the five things that I said you should not do all in order, the five things can win the Eucalyptus Spearmint Glow Butter. Go ahead and drop that in the chat and get your overflow blessing. Go ahead and get your blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. With your name on it, 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 God's got a blessing. Dr. Ray needs you say you're driving, you got to be, stay ready, got to get ready. God's got a blessing, God's got a blessing. That's okay, God ain't forgot about you, Dr. Roy Nisa. God ain't forgot about you, because sometimes, sometimes it's not our season, season to receive the blessing. And that's not to downplay you. That just means you stay encouraged. You don't get weary and well doing, Dr. Roy Nista, because your blessing is coming. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. I don't see it. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. Who can put the five things? The five things. Almond oil, apricot oil, eucalyptus, essential oil. Trace Ham, what you talking about? God's got a blessing, God's got a blessing. Who can put the five things? Now, Tracy Ann, that wasn't the five things. 
The five things I said you shouldn't do. C come on, somebody. Divinity said, wear wigs all the time. Use edge control. Two tight hairstyles. Keep hands out your hair. Don't. Divinity, you got it. You got it. You got it. I ain't even trying to read the rest of it. Divinity, you won the eucalyptus spearmint glow button. Divinity. I'll write that down. So, y'all. Eucalyptus. Y'all, y'all, um, praise God for divinity for winning. Divinity said, look, sis, you gonna get it how I type it. And divinity, I ain't gonna judge you because I know you a teacher and you will whoop my butt. Yes, ma'am. Divinity will whoop my butt because divinity got the soul. I don't play with divinity. She could be my mama. I don't play with her So We will respect our elders and give it to divinity. God, has got a blessing. God's got a blessing with your name on it. Okay, y'all, let me stop cutting up. But it's okay, Divinity. We we gonna excuse the the typos because we all God's people and I love on everybody in this group. Typos or not, okay? Typos or not. So everybody's giving Divinity some love. The dead Demolish said, Lisa, my stomach is hurt. I am crying. Well, I'm glad you was entertained. This has entertained me tonight, okay? <laughs> I'm glad that I can educate and entertain at the same time. Now, ain't that a blessing? Ain't that a blessing, okay? So, yes. Yes, Divinity. With your name on it. With your name on it. So, that was a live for tonight. And I hope y'all thoroughly enjoyed. We're going to have to do more of these. I love these interactive ones. This, this is so much fun. And I think it's good because y'all really get to learn and get it in your spirit. Because somebody is just going to be set free. Let me hush. Let me hush. No, the devil ain't got to hush my praise. The devil ain't going to hush my praise. All right, y'all, I'm about to get off here. So, congratulations to all the renters. The rest of you can follow. <laughs> Acacia said, look, congratulations to all the winners, but if you didn't win, you can go ahead and follow this link. Okay? Sometimes you got to put in that work. <laughs> I ain't going to mess with y'all all night. All right, Queen Heart over there singing with me. <laughs> I had fun. Good night, ladies. The Lord delivered me tonight. Come on. Can we just praise God for Queen Heart deliverance tonight that her edges have been set free? You want to know why? Because she wanted to grow green. So I'm happy for you, uh, Queen Heart. I'm happy. Oh, my goodness. This was such a great end of the day. Don't give away the fam. Don't give away the fam, though, Lisa. Huh? I don't know what Queen Heart. I mean, Q Scott talking about. But anyway, this was awesome. And if y'all have anything else that y'all want me to touch on, y'all make sure y'all drop it in the chat below in the comments so we can all learn and grow together and keep our edges and not get our edges snatched out. Okay. So, and if you know somebody with compromised edges, just go ahead and slide them in this video. You ain't got to say nothing. And look, sis, if you're here because your friend sleeted this video, just know that she care about you. She care about your edges. And obviously, whoever you've been going to don't care about your edges. So you need to thank your friend for seeing, sending you this video. And I'm here to tell you that God's got a blessing for them edges. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. I'll see you on, another, on my next one. Bye.